Welcome back, my friends in Christ, as we gather today for today's Mass, which is for St. Catherine of Siena, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. We gather in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. We gather once again to celebrate this continuing Easter season and to ask Catherine of Siena to guide us and strengthen us through her intercessory prayers. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church. Entering house after house and dragging out men and women, he handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the cloud, crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's response, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all, the earth, let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they pass on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life and shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. 
and who believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you've seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, this morning we're going to celebrate the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena, virgin and doctor of the church. And I'd like to concentrate for just a second on that term of doctor. It might sound weird, but there's just a few doctors of the church. And it is likened to uh, the Pope once said, the church is like the uh, emergency, how did he say it? The church is the emergency room for sinners. I think it was, I'm misquoting him quite frankly, but it was something like that. But he just reminds us that we, our souls, do need some doctoring, need some rebirth, and need some medicine. And my friends, what is the best medicine? Of course, it's the sacraments of the church. And we're all desperately hungering for those sacraments of the church. As we notice in the first reading today, the apostles are having beautiful success in passing out this medicine of faith, this medicine that heals people as they call others to follow this Jesus who has the ultimate medicine for all of us. God calls each one of us to be healers for each other, to pray for each other, and there's no better time than the time we find ourselves to gather together in prayer each and every day and to see God's mercy and to hunger for those sacraments again. It's sort of like uh, the first day of Advent, and we're waiting and waiting and waiting for that great gift of Christmas. It's that same anticipation. So let us sort of have this kind of mixture of Easter, Advent, and Lent all put together and this hungering for the sacraments because, my friends, we are hungry and we are looking for this medicine and let God and let us come back and be renewed by that each and every day. And the best we can do right now is to share this prayer, to share the gospel, and to share this medicine because one day, my friends, you'll be back and you'll be right here waiting ready to receive God's love and mercy and be able to taste it in the medicine of the sacraments. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now pray for the needs of the church, for the world, and for ourselves. Knowing that God the Father wills the best for people, we now come to him with our needs and the needs of our neighbors. For Catholic missionaries, may God give them strength and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges and all who work in law enforcement, may God the perfect judge bless them with gifts of wisdom, justice, and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who bear the burdens of loneliness, infirmity, poverty, or lack of basic needs, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children who may watch this or in our community, may the Holy Spirit help them to grow in grace and knowledge of God's saving power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may Jesus accept them to himself and bring them to everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this morning's Mass Intention, we're praying for a St. Monica Mass Intention and celebrating the 60th anniversary of Ron and Iris Medley. Let us pray for them and may they continue to show us God's love through their bond of marriage. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. My friends, let us now, as always, add our own prayers that brings us here today. For all these things, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, you will eternal life for all of your children here on earth. Listen to our prayers and grant what is best. For we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who holds up to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirits. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of of the kingdom of heaven, It is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. My friends, today let us pray Eucharistic prayer number three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, for St. Catherine of Siena, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Peace be with you this day. I love you very much. And remember always to listen to God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, and even in this world, and as even in this world, it nourished the life of St. Catherine through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to take a second once again and wish the Medleys a happy anniversary. I usually like to ask folks who has the shinier halo, and after 60 years, you never know who it could be. But congratulations to you all. I love you so much. The Lord be with you and with your spirits. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our Mass is ended, let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.